Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, I have got eight different textile techniques to share with you. So let's get straight into it. So from Hobby Craft, I bought these different A4 foam sheets and really liked this cerise pink colour. So I've cut about two centimetres in width, just cut those up into strips. And now what I'm going to do is just sew all of those with a runner stitch to attach them all together. So I'm just going to get two pieces, overlap them and do a runner stitch across. Like that. And then I'm just going to do all the rest. And next, what I want to do is I want to sew through the middle of this idea, see what we can get sculpturally. Let's do it. So I'm going to squidge those two together, put pink thread on. I'm just going to sew through the middle. And then I'm going to curl that one around and pop that in as well and go straight through the middle. Okay, so this is what we've got after I've sewn the strips. I haven't used all of the strip as I decided that this was enough along here. So I've got three rows, but they keep curling up. I do really like it as it is, but they keep killing up. So now I'm thinking I might have to sew them down on this other piece of foam sheet that I've got. Layla's going crazy over there. I think she's seen a bird, hang on. What you doing? What have you seen? What have you seen, Layla? So yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to sew these down onto this orange. Okay, so I've sewn that down. I'm thinking that's quite funky. I'd quite like to do some more ideas like that. I always pick up sort of different materials um, when I see them, just to try things out really. I mean, that's that went through the sewing machine absolutely fine. And for this next one, I've got two pieces of A4 felt, which I got from Hobbycraft. All of these things were from Hobbycraft. And I've just clipped the two pieces together, decided I wanted the pink on top of the white felt. And I've measured two centimetres all the way to the top and just drawn lines in pencil and clipped the sides. And now I'm just going to do runner stitch, straight stitch, on the sewing machine to make some lines. So I'm just gonna carry on and do the rest. And there we go, it's all sewn. So just need to trim off the threads and get that straightened up. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna finish this one with just cutting through where I've sewn down, so in between each of these parallel lines. So now that I've cut all of that, I was thinking, I don't know, let's rough it up a little bit. Let's have a look at that. It's actually quite nice as it is. It's just the two bits of the felt sheets. It's kind of got that nice ripply effect, hasn't it? Hmm. 
I was wondering whether to sew some lines onto it on the sewing machine. I think I might do that too. I'm actually very indecisive because I do quite like the ripples that are naturally created without sewing it. Oh, it's difficult. What do you think? I quite like it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. And for this next one, I've cut some strips. I've, again, I'm using the foam sheet. And obviously I've got here red and green and I've literally just kept the same width of the A4 foam sheet. Literally just cut it up a couple of centimeters each. And then what I want to do is sew these together. So we'll see if they're gonna fit through the sewing machine. Otherwise I'll glue them. Here we go. So I'm just gonna do the rest. And, and it looks like this. Just use some super glue in the center. I'd fold it over the red and green and not so much that side, but kind of thought it was like a little mini Christmas tree, but yeah, just messing around really. So I've got a piece of A4 felt again. I've used pencil. I've drawn a line across the top and down the side and made this rectangle. And then every two centimeters I marked off with pencil and all the way down. And then I joined the lines together and I've made these diamond shapes. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be hand stitching around the edges. So I've got some embroidery threads here. I'm actually not sure what colour to use. I do want a light colour. These are all pastels, so any of these would be fine. Let's go with that one. Okay, so I'll just thread this up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to start ish in the middle. So I'm just going to pinch the side of that pencil line and pull my needle through. Oops, just turn it this way a little bit. And then I'm going to do a runner stitch, just small stitches through the top two pieces of felt. And I'm actually gonna sew, you can see what it looks like there. I'm actually gonna sew all the way up to the end over here. So I'm just going to come through again, nipping through the top of that and then down again, through the top. And it's going to create a little ridge and I'm going to carry on with that, see how we go. Okay, so you can see with this pinch stitch that I've very nearly finished, I've been doing the parallel lines all the way across and then I've been doing it the opposite way. So I'm on my last one now, so just pinch the fabric, popped a knot in there, and I'm just doing runner stitch, which is basically in and out of the fabric near the top and it just gives this textured effect which is why it is called the pinch stitch. You can just tie a knot there and it just gives this overall textured effect which is quite nice so you can either use a contrasting different coloured thread to your background fabric so obviously you can see the pink stitch or if you want to use a matching thread then you can also do that. But you can see that it just creates a very textured effect, which you just want to touch, obviously. That's what it looks like on the back, which is really quite nice as well. So there's that technique. Done and dusted. And for this next one, I've got another two A4 foam sheets. This one is all 
really blingy, pink blingy. Uh, I thought it was really nice. So what I've done over here is I've divided up into, it was about seven centimetres. And then I've got four boxes going down. And then what you're going to need to do is cut your squares out. I've got all my squares cut out, both piles. I'm going to start with this one just because it's quite interesting surface. Triangles and explore what I can do sort of in a kind of 3D way. So it's going to be tricky and I'm probably going to have to use quite a bit of super glue, but it's quite interesting already. So as I said, these are just ideas. So it's, get, it's beginning to get quite bulky already. Let's try around there. Ooh, that's very thick. I like it though. What if I tried from that way? That's quite interesting. Maybe it might be easier to glue that way. I'm using super glue because apparently the glue gun doesn't stick very well with the surface of the foam sheet, so. Last one. So I've just messed around there and come up with this kind of idea. But it's really just, you know, just trying to see what you can do with the foam sheets. It's never really something that I've used very much of before. I think I've used them a little bit in fascinators before, but yeah, I think, you know, maybe you could have an, an explore with what you can do with them, but there's a little bit of a mess around design. Now I'm going to do something with these white ones too. Okay, with this one, I've been gluing them down and sort of curving it up. Just wanted a bit of height. Wanted to see how high I could stack it. And it doesn't stand up on its own. So I just grabbed my pin cushion and I was just going to pop a pin through there, get it to stand up to show you. What's that look like? <laughs> Pretty mad. Let's see. It's got some height going on. You could imagine that sort of curling right up and over. Hmm. Okay, for this next one, we're going to be making some little circular ruffles using the foam sheets again so and we're going to be using some super glue and i'm going to be using these little clips to secure it and leave these to dry so i'm going to get my circle which is not the best circle having said that and what we're going to do is we're going to remember those old little paper games that you used to play like that um, that's what we need to do and I'm going to just hold on to that for a second and then I'm going to get my super glue and put a dash inside there, 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 oops, and there, everywhere where I want to stick. Just hold those all together and then I'm going to get my clips and just pinch those. And they just need to be left for some time to dry. So just like that. So I've got 16 and I'm using pale blue, darker blue and a purple. So I'm going to do those now. Okay, so that's all of them done. 
just going to leave those to dry for a bit and what we're going to do now is we've got some more foam sheet and i um let's try let's go with this so i'm gonna glue that down hold it down so i'm having to just hold these down i've put some glue underneath they're not going to stand, so I'm trying to lean them up against something. And I'm also going to have to probably put a bit at the side to hold them together. So leave me to it, and I'll come back to you in a minute. And there we go. I've glued them all down. They're a little bit precarious. But yeah, <laughs> they're stuck down. Not going to lie, it does take quite a while. My fingers are really gluey now, and I had to use some pins to sort of secure them while I was gluing everything down but what do you think it's a little bit different isn't it it's just another way to use the foam sheet what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to go back to folding some triangles this time we're going to use the sewing machine so we're going to fold all of those like that and we're also going to do the same with the reds. So I've just folded those smaller squares into triangles and I've just overlapped them over the green and I'm just going to sew those together. So that's it all sewn. I've just trimmed off some of the edges there, but you can see that's really quite nice actually. You could elevate the middle bit as well. Just a bit of a fun decoration, experiment, whatever you want to call it, Christmassy. Yeah, that's all of them finished. I hope you like them. Obviously, you can just see how all the materials just allow you to do different sort of manipulation with them. So you can see with the felt here that when I run my fingers across, Obviously, it's just going to stay upright, the felt, which is really quite nice. And then I do quite like what's happening here with the felt again um, and the manipulation with the pinching stitch there. It's just folding over naturally. So, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Give me a like and subscribe if you're new here today and you've enjoyed this uh, for further content like this then uh, stick with me and i'll be posting every week okay then bye